What shall it profit a man, Jesus said, if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Suppose he had all the knowledge and all the wealth and all the power in the whole world today and lost your soul. You see, the whole country is on a quest for something. In drugs, in sex, in entertainment, we, we want something. We don't quite know what it is. And it's elusive. We don't find it. We go on in our pleasures thinking they're going to last forever. But they don't. Solomon was the great king of Israel, the son of David. His income was staggering. Nobody that ever lived in history could compare with Solomon in financial worth. Anything he could dream of, he had it. You know how many wives he had? 700. But that didn't satisfy. He had 300 concubines. Every pleasure at his beck and call. He thought it would bring the peace that he longed for. And then he said, I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity. It was a bubble that burst. It didn't satisfy. Something beyond it satisfies. What is it? What is it? What is it? Deep in your heart, something is missing. You don't know what it is. The thing that's missing is that personal relationship with Christ. You see, sin is a disease, it's destructive. And we all have it. The Bible says all have sinned. What can we do about it? Come to the cross. Let Christ forgive your sins, change your life, turn you in a new direction, and give you a new mind. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the embodiment of all truth, and I can set you free. Free from your anxieties, free from your troubles and problems. We need to repent and turn by faith to Jesus Christ. What is repentance? It means that you change your way of thinking, you change your way of living. It means that you're willing to turn over your life to Christ, turn over your life to God and say, Oh God, I need you, I receive you. And then by faith you receive Christ. Have you received him? Do you know him? God is speaking to you. Come to Christ.